Hey guys, so we're going to take the TypeScript Yarn workspace that we set up yesterday and add the TypeScript app, the React Native one that we created the day before. So I have right now open the TypeScript Yarn workspace and the first thing I'm going to do is just git clone um, and add a new uh, package to it which is going to be the app package. So I'm going to cd into packages and then I'm going to come over here and clone this uh, repo right here. Now, I'll link to the description below if you haven't watched either of those two videos and you want to see how this was made. So we're going to do git clone, paste this in, um, and then I'm just going to rename it. It's called expo TypeScript example. Um, so expo TypeScript example, I'm just going to call it app. All right, so now we have a new folder here called app and we're just going to basically configure this um, to work. So the first thing I want to do is just the tsconfig. Um, it has a bunch of stuff in here commented out. I'm just going to use the uh, extends command and we're going to copy the tsconfig.json that, that we set up up here. Um, the next thing is we're going to play with the uh, app.json and we're going to add the same package or options that we added for the uh, React app, or not the React app, but the React Native one that doesn't use TypeScript. So if we take a look here, we added a few things. So ignore node modules, and then also we need to create a uh, React Native config. So I'm gonna copy these, and then also uh, the project roots. And we're gonna copy this. Okay, so now our app.json is all good. We need to create this um, config file. So rn-cli.config.js. And this can be the same thing that we used for the uh, React Native one. So we're going to copy this and paste it in. So there is a package that we need to install this, this thing right here. But we'll install that um, in a second. But what this is doing is uh, telling React Native where our node modules is and where to find packages. So because we're using a Yarn workspace, they're sitting in the root directory. Um, so it's telling it to go up two directories and you'll find all our modules there. And that's what this thing is doing. All right, and then the other thing that we did was do this linking. So we did a link workspaces. Now we could do the same thing um, in this application, but I tried out a new method lately that I think I like a little bit better that we're gonna try out. And it's called uh, no hoist. So this is something from Yarn. Um, and it came out, um, so February 15th, 2018. So you're gonna make sure you're on a, you're on a later, uh, one of the latest versions of Yarn. I think it came out in 1.5 or something. And what it allows you to do is in your packages, um, you can specify not to hoist packages. Um, and so what does that mean? So for example, if I were to copy this, and we can just copy this little workspaces, um, what you do is in your root directory, you change uh, what workspaces is to look like this. And then here I can specify um, packages. So if I say no hoist on React Native, what's gonna happen is normally node modules um, would show up here, right? We have a large node modules in our root directory. And if we cd into, well, of course, there's not going to be any node modules in app because we just cloned it. But uh, if we were to do a yarn install, there wouldn't be any node modules in the app, right? Because we're hoisting them up. But we can tell it not to hoist some packages. So in this case, we can tell it um, keep React Native in the node modules uh, inside of app. So we're going to do that, and there's actually a few other packages we need to do this for to get this to work. Um, also expo, um, and we're just going to copy that same kind of format. And then there's two others, so if we look inside our package.json, we're using this transformer, which needs it as well. Um, so we'll paste that in, and then there's one last one, which we'll copy that one. And that is the uh, config, so this metro bundler yarn workspace thingy mabobber. So now these four packages will be in our node modules for our app 
when we start it up or when we do a yarn install. So the last thing that I want to do is to actually go ahead and install this package. So we can copy this and I'm just going to cd inside of packages app and I'm going to do yarn add as a dev dependency and then um, something that I forgot to do was install the types for React and React Native. Um, so we're going to install the types for that because we're using those in our project. So I'm going to say at types slash React and at types slash React Native. And while we're at it, we're also using Expo, which has um, types as well. So we could say at types slash Expo too. Um, I'm going to let that install. I'm going to run this. And then after that's done um, installing, um, oh, before I do that, actually, we need to add to our dependencies. So I want to uh, grab the common uh, package. So I called that cashew slash common. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to add that to my package.json. And I'm going to say 1.0. There we go. And I actually might have, yeah, I think it, my package.json might get messed up because we're writing at the same time um, as this is installing, but that's fine. So I have that as a dependency now. All I need to do is run yarn install and it's gonna basically install all these dependencies, hook everything up. Um, so I'm gonna let that run, yarn install. Um, and then when that's done, we'll start up our React Native uh, server and then see if it works. We went ahead and already um, I already started the iOS emulator um, right here, so I don't need to start that up. I'm just going to do yarn start. Now we're not actually using any, um, what's it called, the common library right now, so uh, this should have any problems, and then we'll just add that in after it compiles. Um, and it can't even fi find the React Native module. I wonder if something went wrong. And I just want to show you guys real quick. If I do an ls, so if I cd into packages um, inside of our app, if I do an ls on node modules, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of stuff in here now. Um, specifically, you can do ls on node modules, React Native, and you should see uh, React Native stuff there. But OK. Um, common, we don't care about. All right, this. So I'm going to head over here and open them up and we'll see if that does go ahead and build. Um, now this is not finding the React Native module even though we just added it. What I'm thinking is happening is it just needs to refresh. So if you hit Command P on a Mac um, or probably Control P on Windows and you type, um, I guess, the little caret, you can say TypeScript restart the server or reload the window. I'm just going to tell it to restart and you'll see it'll go away. It'll restart the TypeScript server and then uh, we can see if it uh, goes ahead and refreshes. So sometimes TypeScript doesn't automatically pick things up and you just have to do that. Um, and then, yeah, looks like it found the package. You can hover over and you can see stuff. And it looks like um, it's bundling, so it looks like it's working. And then when that's done, all we're gonna do is we're gonna import um, add. And this is from cashew slash common. And we can say add, and we can say one, two. Now the other thing to make sure you have done is in your common folder, make sure you ran the build command, um, which creates a folder called dist, and this is where your compiled code is gonna be, because we needed to use that over here. All right, so I haven't saved it yet. Um, we just see the open app to start, so that's fine. Now if I hit a save, it should recompile, and it should now have three in the middle, and sure enough, it does. So that's awesome. So we're able to grab the code from this common directory now in our TypeScript app. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that gives you an idea of how you can use uh, TypeScript across pretty much your whole project using Yarn Workspaces if you're using React Native. And now I didn't show you how to do it with React, um, but it's pretty much the exact same setup um, that I showed you before for React, um, where you just do Yarn Workspaces and you uh, 
you install that plugin, the Yarn Workspaces plugin that goes ahead and adds it. Um, but I'll also be going over that when I start my series as well. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.